been there. Look, you got a big old leech. Still here. Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah. Still standing strong, I see. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am out with the uh, Energizer poof and uh, the battery-operated Teddy poof, and uh, we're doing a hiking cook today. Okay, so we'll set this over here. And uh, yeah. We're turning to the old bushcraft shelter here. And as you can see, we got a little gap back there because I just piled snow when I was here last. But everything else still stands strong. Look at that. See, I wanted to come back out here and camp, but uh, I wasn't sure how much snow was there. And as you can see, there's barely any snow. Uh, I don't need snowshoes right now. And I'm glad I didn't bring the sled because that's what I was planning on doing. But it's been so warm lately. It's been ridiculously warm. Uh, this time, let Ruger. Hey, that's my kindling. Don't you do it, Stinky, you dirty dog. Uh, anyways, as I was going to say, uh, last year, about this time, about this time, I uh, there was a, still a couple feet of snow. This year, it's pretty much all gone. I mean, we didn't. I have a picture of my backyard at home where we still had snow. I think it was May 1st, we still had snow. And this year, my backyard's almost completely barren and it's like middle of March. So, yeah. So anyways, Mr. Stinky. Okay, I got a whole bunch of firewood under here because I kept it nice and dry the last time I was here. But we are going to get a fire going because we're going to make some food. Then we can saw a few pieces. Oh, Rose, oh no! Definitely, yeah, if I want to stay out here, I'm going to have to clear out this because Last time it was, there was some snow and I made it flat. It's all lumpy and uneven. And there's some logs. I'll have to dig it around. But yeah, I definitely like to come back out here. So I'm gonna quickly just go grab some little, well, Ruger. Don't worry, I'll throw you guys a stick, okay? Just simmer down. Um, yeah, I'm gonna grab some little twigs quick to uh, spark up a fire. And then we're gonna start it. Okay, got a nice little flat piece here. Nice little flat Ruger. piece here. Hey, we're gonna leave that. I got a nice bundle of birch bark I grabbed on the way in. Let's see if we can do the old legendary. Nope. Nope. Three. Three, three, three.
drinkers. You thirsty? There's water? Come here. Alright, back up. Back up, back up. There's two bowls. Ruse is gonna drink both of them. I'm I'm fairly certain of that one. But see, it's there. It's so, you know. Hey Monty. Go ahead, there's some water. Hey Monty. Yeah. Jeez. Oh. My shirt's riding up in the back. Who wears short shirts? Matthew wears short shirts. Well, my fire's smoldering. Okay. This. Okay. Oh. Ah. There we go. Okay. okay. Got a nice little spot. So, uh, I'm probably going to need to put on a sweatshirt here in a minute. Because as you can see, my shelter is in the shade. Completely. And, uh, well it was 60 degrees today at my house and it's a bit of a drive to get here which was an adventure all on its own I mean the dirt road was like it was packed from people driving on it but it was like it's warm enough to where my tires were just breaking right through the ice didn't look like it's been driven on in a while and then the two track to get from off that road to get to here uh, was just like big puddles and I was just sinking in and then it would get back up on the ice and then sink in and the smoke is going to be wonderful. But anyways, yeah, I got here and my truck read 40 degrees, so it's 20 degrees colder here than it is in my house. And, uh, oh. Smoke. Oh, did I put out my fire? Looks like I might have. It's a little bit of a smolder fest. Anyways, yeah, it was a bit of an adventure to get here. It took longer than I thought it was going to. Um. I didn't even plan on coming here today. I just woke up and I was like, you know what? I kind of want to go check out the shelter. See if it's still standing. It is sturdy as can be. Nothing's changed. Even all this is still here. I don't even see any of it laying on the ground. Well, there's a little bit. Yep, a few pieces actually. Like this right here. A few pieces fell off, but not much. We got to get this fire ripping. Because in order to cook today, I'm going to use a coal bed. I'm not going to be impatient. We're going to hang out for a little bit because it... You know, it was a journey to get here. And the boys were going to make him a nice stick. But let's get this first. Get this going. Might as well get a little bit comfortable. I need to cover up this hairdo anyways. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, it's getting a little curly. It's getting a little long. Uh, I need a haircut pretty bad. You know, that winter hair. <laughs> uh, for those of you that don't know, I used to have super long hair, and when I do have long hair, it gets really curly, so I'm starting to get those curls on the tips. Let's just cover that up with a hat. Whenever you start to get the little curls about, um, then it's time for a haircut. Did it fire? It's still alive in there. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a big rip and fire very shortly. It's. It's going. It's just these logs were a little bit wet. A little wet. Burger's going a little crazy. So, Rugus. Rugus. What? What? What is it, boy? Oh, really? Tell me more about the way that you feel. Oh, yeah? What else? Monty, you, you're doing good. You keep, Monty's keeping it real. This is a saw ruger. This is not a fetching tool or a toy. But it'll make you a toy. 
So yeah, it's a little, it, it, I know I'll get a little chilly when I sit here long enough. So that's why I'm putting the sweatshirt on now. Not gonna really cut up any firewood, but might as well make the boys a couple fetching sticks. Give them both one so that they can both have some fun. And then we need to make a serving platter. How rude. Now this isn't the smartest way to saw a log, but I'm pretty, I'm, I'm gonna be okay. You know, uh, it's just not the smartest. Ruger, you better stop. You better stop or I'm gonna send you to your room, mister. Anyways, yeah, I'm just lazy, okay? It's called lazy sawing. This is how you get sawdust all over your pants and your clothes. Just don't want to get up, okay? Watch out, Rooks. Woo! Ruger, your your little cries and your pleas. I'm immune to them because you do them a lot. We want this right here. That's a quite the solid log. Have more power. If I can hit it. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Perfect. I just took a little log, split it in half so I have something to eat on. It's perfect. It's nice and flat. Yeah, my axes, it already looks fun. Let's just give you a close-up of this one here. Yeah, see, that is the work of the Jake Ski Guy. Yeah. But, that is exactly what the, the guard is for because if I didn't have that on there and he didn't whack, you know, logs into that, it would have went right into the wood and destroyed another axe handle. So. I don't really mind that it looks the way it does. It's just a reminder that you can't let your Jake Ski Guy have an axe that doesn't have a leather guard on it. <laughs> That's all that tells me. Don't let him use any, <laughs> any axe without one. Uh, oh. Alright, fire's going now. What do you think, boys? You boys want a stick? Yeah, this one's... Look at this guy's been just waiting. Monty, you want the stick? Here, Monty. Rouge, you almost seem like you can't contain yourself. Watch out. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Back up. Ready? Good boys. Bring your roots. Monty. Monty, you want one? Come here, Monty. Come on. Ruger, go get your stick. Go get the other stick. Monty, get it, Monty. Ruger, get it here. Bring it here. Bring your roots. Bring here, Monty. Get it, roots. Give it here. Put it in my hand. Thanks. Come here, come here, Rooks. Psycho, bring it here, Monty. Come on, Monty, 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 bring it here. 
Monty! Hurry! Monty! He doesn't care. Hey, you gotta put it in my hand, mister. Thanks. That one's, that one's kind of psycho for the stick. Monty's just molesting his stick like he always does, just thrashes it around. Bring your rooks. Oh, it seems I wasn't recording that whole time. Oh, jeez. I don't even know if I was talking about anything. I was mentioning how nice and... I don't know if I mentioned already how nice the weather is today. It's super warm, and it's just been like spring and it's still technically winter when it's normally technically spring and still feels like winter it's just reversed this year it's just come real early which you know what i didn't mind this year you know we get out we, we're gonna have so many more winters in our lives we're gonna have some that drag on forever and some that end early and you know what i'm just not minding the early end in winter this year okay so sue me i'm ready to do some fishing not that through the ice stuff that cold stuff the stuff where I and yeah, you're still in the back, and you'd watch. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do soon. I think. I hope. These nutcases. You're a bunch of nutless nutcases. We're getting close to ready to cook. Definitely got got some coals burning. We don't need the fire for warmth, we just need it for coals. This past week I also dove back into an old hobby of mine. Well, it's always been a hobby. But, uh, you know, it, it comes and goes. It, it used to be very prevalent in my life, and then I kind of lost touch, and now it's back. And that is music. For those of you that don't know, I was first chair in jazz band and concert band for, like, a long time. Yeah, I played trumpet for, like, nine years. And I loved it. And you know, I write music here and there and this and that. And I was in, you know, a ska band or two. And yeah, definitely might have wrote a song called Work Sucks Butt. But I may not have. But I might have done that. <laughs> yeah. And I don't mean Work Sucks Butt isn't the censored version. That's the actual name because I thought it'd be funnier. than. <laughs> yeah. That may be a recorded song where I actually sing. It could be, it might not be. Work sucks butt. Work sucks butt. Anyways, uh, yeah. I'm jumping back into music. Messing around. Who knows if that'll ever be anything, but I definitely like, I definitely love playing instruments and music. I'm a very musical person. But I just, uh, lost touch with it. But I've jumped back into it. Now I just, now that I'm here, I just wanna wish I'd have brought my sleep stuff. I could just stay the night. That wouldn't have been bad. You know. I wonder, actually, we gotta test this quick. If I can fit both me and the dogs in here. Sleeping pad, my sleeping pad, it would be a tight fit. Let's just, we gotta measure this. Ooh, it's perfectly to my shoulder. So, ugh, 
let's see. So it's about to my shoulder from the heel. So that's like five and a half feet ish. Somewhere in there. Five and a how tall is my head? How long is my head? Can't be more than a foot. I don't know. Did Monty steal your stick? Let me guess. Monty lost his. I just punched you in the face, my damn, so sorry. I just bought Monty in the face. Get it, boys. It would be fun to get both the boys in here. I definitely would need the ground to be less frozen, though. Because I'm going to need to take my axe and dig it out a bit. stinkers. You gonna get it, Monty? Get it, Roos. Go get it, Roos. Don't let him take it. How could you do that? All right, what we're gonna cook up today over the fire is a 1.5 pound, beautiful, delicious ribeye steak. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And the boys aren't gonna get a piece. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're gonna get their share. Oh yeah, that's a thick, thick old ribeye. They're gonna get a lot of that fat. So what we're going to spice it up with is, of course, the greatest spice in all the lands. Oops. The Montreal steak seasoning. A little heavy there. Got to be careful because the boys are going to get, like, here down. So we'll, we'll just leave that off there. I don't want it too spiced up. Now let's do a little, a little on this side. Okay. Ooh. All right, let's get this on the fire. Of course, we've got the great grate. Why would you want any other grate? I do not know. Ooh, okay. Oh, here we 
we go. We'll have to keep that flame down because this one's going to need to cook for a minute because it's thick. Uh oh. It's starting to flame up. We're just going to have to keep flipping it. Gotta be careful. <sighs> oh. I don't really want the flames. They're more. <laughs> Dang it! About the, the, the coals. Ah, uh, no! I must have to move it off to the side until these flames die down. Looks like we're just gonna have to play the flipping game. Oh yeah. It's still gonna cook just perfectly. I'm just gonna have to flip it a lot. With a little flame on there. I'm just now that it's starting to cook, I'm getting a little impatient, I'm not gonna lie. I would I had all the patience in the world when I started and then I pulled out this big piece of meat and <sighs> can't help myself. Smokey, bring it here, Monty. Bring it here. Bring it here, Rooks. Rooks, bring me the stick. Bring it here, Rooks. Oh, he stole it, Monty. Bring it here. Ready, Ruger? Ready, Monty? Ready, Murger? Ready, boys? <laughs> Go get it. Go get it. Oh. Oh, he stole it. You better go get it, Rooks. You better get it. He stole it. Oh, Monty, you better get it now. He stole it from you. And he gave it to me. Get it. These gators I got on, uh, I bought these originally to go over my muck boots, but they, <laughs> I couldn't find a pair that would go over muck boots. These work pretty good, though. They're, they're definitely necessary for this time of year where you're hiking around and uh, they keep the snow from going in your shoes or your boots, which is super helpful. But uh, yeah, I bought them for my muck boots because sometimes I'll walk around without uh, snowshoes on and with the muck boots, if you step in any like wet snow or something, it kind of gets frosty around the bottom, the part. And uh, I just wanted to keep something to protect from getting all snow covered up in my boots. Cause sometimes it gets frozen and it's hard to put on in the morning. Get it Monty, get it Roots. Ooh yeah. Oh my gosh. Now, I don't prefer to cook over a flame like this. Like I said, I just got a slight impatience about me. It's gonna be nice and charred on the outside. I'm gonna keep it from getting like too burnt or anything, but it'll be nice and charred. The trick is to just knowing when it's cooked. Don't want it to be burnt. We don't want no burnt steak. We don't want no overdone steak or any well done steak. Ugh. Oh, well done. <laughs> no. We want it juicy. Nice and pink and juicy or red. Mm. We want a nice pink juicy piece of meat. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, could eat that all day. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, it's 
getting close. Ooh, it's got to be real close. Ooh, ah, hot! Ah. Oh, yeah. Mm, mm. Ooh, ah. Oh. Mm, mm. I'm going to say just another minute, and then we're serving this baby up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Before this thing burns, we are going to put this on our serving platter. Oh. <sighs> okay. Mm. All right. Now, let's cut the boys' share up. And then we're gonna eat. Oh yeah. All right. The voice pieces are gonna go right there. Let's cut theirs up. Oh yeah, nice and pink. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, that is pretty darn good. Oh, we're just gonna slice them off a little bit more here. Can't give them too much. The boys can't get too much. They like the fat more than I do, though. Okay. I'm eating that. Oh, okay. Oh, I mean, just look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just need... I just need one little... Quick... Quick taste. Oh, let's just... Let's just zoom in on that. Oh, yeah. Mm, mm, okay. Mm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh. Okay, boys. So I laid their pieces on the ground. I spread it out as best I could and evened it up. And I kind of put them, I didn't make it a pile this time. I, uh, spread them out just so that they can't just swallow the whole thing in one mouth they actually have to take each individual piece and then swallow it monty is drilling up a storm monty is or ruger is just as still as a statue just like waiting for me to give the signal you guys go boys go ahead <laughs> oh my gosh oh this is gonna be so glorious Mm. Mm-hmm. It's cooked so perfectly. Mm. See, these guys just don't know how to jo enjoy a steak. Boys, you can't eat too much or you get sick.
19. Do you not feel shame, Monty? He's like, no. But I could feel that steak in my belly if you gave me a little bit more. You're a monster, you know that? Burger, you're a monster for the steak, but for food? See, he's a monster for food, but he's good with the steak. He doesn't... You know, he doesn't get up in my face too much. But this guy is the opposite. Perfect with food, but a monster with a stick. Fine. One little piece. I don't know why I do this. Ruger. Good boy. Monty. Good boy. Bad good boy, but good boy. Alright, well. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my steak. And then, uh, yeah. We're going to clean it up here. Right, boys? No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright, boys, here you go. You got this? Go get it. Monty wasn't even phased. He thinks there's a chance there's more steak, so... He ain't moving. It's like, I could, I could, I could hope. We, uh, we lose hope that we don't get more stick. So, I gotta keep hoping. There's gotta be a chance. Otherwise, what's the point? I drink like half the water. Okay, I'm just going to keep my sweatshirt on for the uh, hike out because, like I said, you know, it's sunny out and it's, it is warm today, but when you sit still, it doesn't matter really the temperature as much, you just start to get chilled. Because, uh, you know me, I'm always moving around, that's what I like to do, so, hiking in, and I mean, you know, the sun is starting to get a little closer to setting, there's still... Like an hour, I want to say like an hour and 20 minutes of light left. So, it's definitely gotten a little chillier, but it, it's mostly just sitting still. If I was just hiking this whole time, I'd probably still be in my t-shirt. Ruger, I'm not throwing your stick, okay? I'm, I'm not doing, it's, it's, it's over for now, okay, buddy? It's okay. Oh, look, this is tighter. Come here, boys. Come here, Monty. Come here, Monty. Come here. Come here, Rooks. Come here. Come here. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, everybody, come here. Come here. Hey, hey, hey. Come here, Monty. Come here. Come here, Monty. Come here, Rooks. Hey, 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 hey. Come here. No barking at me. Come here. Just come here. Hi, just, 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 okay. You're psychos. Anyways, that was a fun little hike and cook. Got to see the shelter still standing. I definitely like to come back here soon. I just, oops, sorry Rooks. Just needed a little intel about dragging the sled, so it looks like I'm gonna be having a backpack, which is not a big deal. I was wondering if there was like, I knew there'd be barren spots, but I know I can at least drive to the spot I normally park to, and I'll have to use a backpack, and I'm not gonna be post holing too much. There's a few deep spots along the way, but it's mostly in the shallow places, or like the, the valleys, I guess you'd say, like the bottoms of the little hills. So anyways, we're gonna get heading back to the car. I've got a bit of a drive to do today and we're losing sunlight. So yeah, had some fun and got the boys out and that's it. So as always guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button and I will catch you guys in the next video. Come on boys, let's go.